I do have a question on COVID, but first on energy. When is it that the Biden administration is going to let the thousands of uh, fossil fuel industry workers, whether it's pipeline workers or construction workers, who are either out of work or will soon be out of work because of a Biden EO, uh, when it is and where it is that they can go for their green job? And that is something the administration has promised. Uh, there is now a gap. So I'm just curious when that happens, when those people can count on that. Well, I'd certainly welcome you to present your data of all the thousands and thousands of people who uh, won't be getting a green job. Maybe next time you're here, you well, can present no, that. But you said that they would be getting green jobs, so I'm just asking when that happens. Uh, Richard Trumka, who is a friend, longtime friend mm -hmm. of Joe Biden, says about that day one Keystone EO, he says, I wish he, the president, had paired that more carefully with the thing that he did second by saying, here's where we are creating the jobs. So. There's partial evidence from Richard Trumka. Well, you didn't include all of his interview. Okay. About, Would you like okay. to include the rest? So, so how about this? Uh, the Laborers International Union of North America said the Keystone decision will cost 1,000 existing union jobs and 10,000 projected construction jobs. Well, what Mr. Trumka also indicated in the same interview was that President Biden has proposed a climate plan with transformative investments in infrastructure and laid out a plan that will not only create millions of good union jobs, but also help tackle the climate crisis. And as the president has indicated when he gave his prime time address uh, to talk about the American Rescue Plan, he talked about his plans to also put forward a jobs plan uh, uh, in the in the weeks or months following, and he has every plan to do exactly that. But uh, there are people living paycheck to paycheck. There are now people out of job once the Keystone pipe out of jobs once the Keystone pipeline uh, stopped construction. It's been 12 days since Gina McCarthy and John Kerry were here, and it's been 19 days since that EO. So what are these people who need money now? When do they get their green job? Well, uh, the the president and many Democrats and Republicans in Congress believe that investment in infrastructure, building infrastructure uh, that's in our national interests uh, and that boosts the U.S. economy, creates good paying union jobs here in America and advances our climate and clean energy goals are something that we can certainly work on doing together. And he has every plan to uh, share more about his uh, details of that plan in the, in the weeks ahead. And then just a quick one on the stimulus. There's reporting that House Democrats are going to come out with a $3,000 per child stimulus for mm -hmm. some eligible families. Is that something that the White House supports making a permanent benefit? Well, the president talked about this uh, a bit on the campaign trail and the importance of um, child tax credits uh, to help working families um, ensure they can make it ends meet. This proposal is emergency funding, as I understand it. Uh, it's a central priority of his first legislative proposal to cut child poverty ha in half in in the first this year, sorry, um, and that's why he included a child tax credit in the American Rescue Plan. Uh, but that's again emergency funding and something that will help people get through this period of time.